Mi Wu, come over here. Let me pick a sweet watermelon for you. It's gonna be great. It's okay. It's really cool. You're mocking me? I'll eat the red ball if you could pick a sweet watermelon with red pulp. Oh, my dad taught me how to pick watermelons. Let's give it a try. Just so you know, if the watermelon isn't ripe, you're gonna eat it alone. No problem. Let's take the chili melon as an example. Keep in mind three words. The first word, the vine. A ripe melon no longer needs to transport nutrients, so its vine will slowly bend. While less ripe melons are not yet weak, so its vine is still straight. Also keep in mind that if the vine dries up, the watermelon has been picked long ago, so it may not be fresh enough. But what about the ones without vines, like this one? Here comes the second word, the rind. Oh, I know the answer! Patty took the watermelons and asked, Sir, is this watermelon ripe? <laughs> Look, tap the watermelon. If the sound is low, it means it's ripe. If the sound is crisp, it means it's raw. I just can't tell. That's all right. There is another way. Hold it up with one hand and pat it. If the vibration is transmitted to the hand and shake your hand, then it's right. Ooh. The third word, the strips. According to my dad, the darker the color, the clearer the line, the thinner the rind, also the sweeter is taste. This one is clear strips and the one on the right. So taking all of the above into consideration, I pick this one. The curved vine, the vibration, the deep and clear strips, Picking the big one! Then let's cut it open! So what if it's pretty? That doesn't mean it's sweet! Then let's use a saccharometer to measure its sugar content. It's sweet if the reading is above 13. The sugar content turns out to be 14.5. Good luck finding the sweetest watermelon.